Hello everyone, welcome back to Mama in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a copycat recipe to P.F. Chang's chicken lettuce wraps. So I'm going to start off by showing you the ingredients. First, you're going to need one pound of ground chicken. And if there's no ground chicken at your local grocery store, you can just chop up um, chicken breasts into very tiny pieces. And then you're going to need a tablespoon of sriracha sauce, a tablespoon of rice vinegar, five tablespoons of hoisin sauce, and then you're gonna need about eight ounces of diced watered chestnuts. So this is about 10 ounces, so I'm gonna be using almost two cans, not the full two cans. And then you're gonna need two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of ginger paste, and then you're gonna need about three minced garlic cloves, one tablespoon of olive oil, and over here I have two green onions that I've chopped. And then you're also going to need some salt and pepper, about half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and then some iceberg lettuce. You can also use butter lettuce, but I'm going to be using iceberg today. And now we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is cooking my ground chicken. So I went ahead and preheated one tablespoon of olive oil, and now I'm just going to go ahead and cook it for about five minutes or until it's almost completely cooked. And this is what the ground chicken will look like after about five minutes of cooking. And now you're gonna go ahead and add the garlic, the hoisin sauce, the soy sauce, the sriracha, the rice vinegar, and the ginger. And you're gonna mix it in and cook on a medium heat until the sauce thickens up. And after a few minutes, the sauce should thicken up like this. And once it thickens up, you're gonna go ahead and drain your chopped water chestnuts. And you're gonna add that to the chicken. And then you're also gonna add the chopped green onions. And you're gonna mix that together for a few minutes on a medium low heat. And after a few minutes of mixing that in, now the mixture is ready. So it's actually better to let it cool down for about 15 to 20 minutes before adding it to the lettuce, but I completely forgot to wait on it. So I just added it to the lettuce while it was hot, but it is better to let it cool down so that way it doesn't make the lettuce soggy. And this is the final look of P.F. Chang's copycat chicken lettuce wraps. If you like these kinds of videos and would like to see more copycat recipes, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. Thank you for watching and please like, share, and subscribe.